Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So often when I'm working with yoga teachers and we're talking about designing pregnancy yoga classes, one of the questions that comes up is, how do you theme your classes? And usually these teachers are quite well practiced theming their classes for a regular group, whether they theme them around a certain body part or a pose that they're working towards, or even an idea or quote or something that they've come across in their daily lives that they wanna weave into their yoga class. So I thought today I would share with you 10 ideas for theming your yoga classes, and I'll just give you a few ideas of what you could do in each of these themes. So if you're looking for ideas of how you can weave theming into your pregnancy yoga classes, this is the video for you. So the number one theme that you could use in a pregnancy yoga class is back pain. I have not met a pregnant woman yet who hasn't felt some sort of back discomfort during her pregnancy. So there are a lot of things within this class that you could focus on. So alignment is a big one. Often back pain is caused by poor alignment, poor posture created in the body when the weight of the belly draws us forward. You could focus on strengthening the muscles around the pelvis because again, that often gets out of alignment, creating back pain. Even stretching and lengthening the legs out is gonna help to decrease back pain. So all these things could be woven into a class themed around back pain. The second class idea is around connection. Obviously in our pregnancy yoga classes, we wanna create some space for the mother to connect with her baby. And this is not necessarily something that immediately happens for every woman. Sometimes they really need some space in their lives to make this happen because their lives are so busy outside, especially if they already have other children that they're running after. I've never met a pregnant woman who didn't need to rest more. So really embrace the props in this class, bring as many bolsters or blocks or blankets or things that you need to bring in to make the women in your class as comfortable as possible and really encourage this idea of resting as something that is essential to us. I think in our busy lives, we forget how important it is to rest and this can be a really beautiful theme for a pregnancy yoga class. So my fourth theme is breathing for birth. This is definitely one of my favorites. Breath was the thing that helped me get through birth every time and I think if you can weave this into your yoga classes for pregnancy and teach them right from the moment they start coming to you that this type of breath is something that's going to be helpful during birth, they're more likely to when they're in labor and birth think, hang on, I remember my teacher talking about that, I'm gonna try that. So even if they don't end up doing any sort of hypnobirthing or yoga for birthing, and they don't know the reasons why behind it, just practicing it in your yoga class is gonna be so helpful to them. So the fifth theme is all about the love. So building oxytocin in the body. This is so important during birth to get those contractions moving strongly and to keep labor moving along. So it can be a really great theme to bring in now. So teaching them how to tap into those feelings of love within their own bodies, because it is within their own power to do so. You can either think thoughts about fear or you can think thoughts about love and all those feel good feelings that you have. So using visualization, using meditations, you can create a really beautiful pregnancy yoga class around the theme of love. The sixth theme I have to suggest is gratitude. And look, it's really simple. Is there ever a bad time for gratitude to be used as a theme for a yoga class? I think not. The seventh theme that I wanna to talk to you about is stamina. Stamina is so important, whether it's physical stamina for labor and birth or for motherhood on its own, or mental or emotional stamina for even approaching the difficult task that birth and mothering is. So I really want you to start introducing this idea of us preparing the body for what is to come. And that doesn't just mean relaxing. Whilst relaxing is so important and being able to relax the body on command, so is building strength in the legs, building the ability to withstand difficult sensations in the body through different yoga poses, a really important skill to build. And a class themed around building mental, emotional, and physical stamina is a really great one. All right, the next theme idea that I have for you is the hips and the legs. So we know that during pregnancy, the hips and the legs are doing extra work. They're carrying the extra weight that the pregnancy creates in the body, and it can create a lot of tension. So stretching these out and really giving the lower body some love during a pregnancy yoga class can be great. One word of caution though, you do need to educate yourself so that you can educate your students about alignment through the hips and not causing any pelvic instability by stretching too far. If this is a totally new concept to you, I'll leave a link below for another video that I've done about teaching women with SI or pelvic instability and you can learn more from that video. The ninth theme idea that I have for you is trust or intuition. This is such an important concept for new mums, especially first time mums to learn, to really be able to sit in your own space, trust that feeling in your gut, and just follow that intuition. And I think as first time mums, we sort of look to everyone else for advice because it's all new and we don't 
really trust that voice yet but once you're a second time mum, third time mum or beyond you really start to trust and most mums that I speak to say they wish they could go back to that first time mum that they were and say just trust your own thoughts, your own intuition. So theming a class around this idea can be really important and a really beautiful way to get women to connect in with their own hearts. So the tenth theme idea that I have for you is theming around anxiety. So whether these are anxieties around the pregnancy itself, around the changes it will create in the woman's life or even around birth, theming it around how to deal with anxiety, giving them really practical tools, yoga tools, meditation, visualization and movement is something that they're going to take away from this class and feel like oh, I feel really empowered to now use this yoga in my everyday life and that's what we want. We don't want them to just rely on the relief they get on the mat. We want them to be able to walk off their mat and be like I can use that breath whenever I'm feeling stressed. So if you theme a class around anxiety and fears and how to really manage those with yoga tools, I know that the women in your pregnancy yoga classes are going to come back because they're going to feel so good afterwards and feel so good in the rest of their lives as well. All right, so they are my 10 ideas for theming pregnancy yoga classes. If you would like any extra information about any of these themes on how to teach them, poses to include, leave me a comment below and let me know. And if you would like more information on teaching pregnancy and postnatal yoga, I'm currently working on my course. So I'll leave a link below so that you can sign up and be the first to hear when that one is released. Thank you again for being here and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.